Welcome to my channel. Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about this. I don't think I was supposed to talk about that. I think I was supposed to talk about Han. Like H-A-N, like Home Area Network. What is a Home Area Network? A Home Area Network is uh, what I like to call the end of a three-part series, all right? You have the Wan, you have the Lan, and then you have Han, all right? So, like Sesame Street, Wan, Lan, So, a Wan is the wide area network that pretty much is the internet, all right? The World Wide Web. That is your one, and then the one connects a bunch of lands, which is your local area network. And your local area network is just the, just your internet provider, all right? Okay, so we have cable bombers because they live in the bombers, and then your Han is your personal network that you've created with your little stuff, you know, with your router and maybe a server and really cool wires and uh, etc etc so that's your hand right not this your H-A-N this is supposed to be my homework assignment I was supposed to done it from a few days ago but I didn't do it I really procrastinated Mr. Francis inside my network in class and I have two more classes left before I graduate he wanted me to uh, he wanted me and as well as other people because I don't want to make it in my home extra special um, he wanted me to create a video on uh, what is your dream or ideal network setup or server, alright? Now, we're going to have to answer a few questions, alright? Uh, what's the difference between a modem and a router? Well, a modem allows you to get internet access, a router doesn't. That's pretty much There's no science to that, right? There's no science to that. Um, the modem allows you to get internet from your local area network okay. and your router pretty much allows multiple devices in your home or whatever you have to get access to the internet as well. There's a difference between an industrial router and a router. And then an industrial router is what you would see in a big corporation like the airport. Uh, as soon as you go to the airports or hotels, they, uh, you can connect to it. Um, you want how you can do that, but uh, it's called an industrial router. I'm going to leave all these things in the description below because I'm not going to tell you a bunch of sugar and be like, oh, I'm doctorating you with all these different things. Anyway, so, and then the router is just pretty much for your home or maybe a small business, alright? Um, the difference between DSL and, and cable big difference speed. speed. Although DSL may be more reliable um, than cable. So moving right along. Okay, so my dream setup. Clearly you need a few things. You need a really good router that has gigabit ports, uh, USB, um, the FTP servers, Oh, an online server that allows you to manage that router without that using CD, CDs are like 1990s or early 2000s, then it's 2000. Alright, um, so that, that you, and then you can manage the person if you want to cover. Moving right along, um, you're going to need those things and you're going to need both, at least two, two or more switches. And switches are just devices that take one wire like a surge protector from the wall and make it into multiple. Alright? You're gonna need and if you wanna have like a server because I really like YouTube and I really love making videos and I really love these videos, but we all know that these videos are very very huge and to keep hundred, maybe thirteen hundred videos is very very there's a lot of space and um, and that space is gonna cause my computer crash. So we create a server. Alright, and there's different types of servers. On a server, it, it just manages uh, it manages the information uh, on your network, uh, whether it be a database, because there's different types of servers. You have database, you have uh, a service that run applications, 
like food stores and etc. And then you have like servers that just store information. That's what more I would want because I would want to store information on it and I would want it to be accessed, be easily accessed by any computer on my network. So that that is definitely the idea that I'm going for in my server, my ideal server within my ideal network. Alright, so once that is done, um, what you're gonna need, you're gonna really you need a really good electrician. Why I say choose an electrician because I'm not going to see it and I'm not gonna get electrocuted. Um, I'd rather pay someone else to do that. Um, I'm too handsome to just go up like that, you know? But I need that and then what's gonna, what's gonna happen is that when he messes up things, you can bitch about it. Uh, you can itch about it, right? I'm not just cursing, but you can itch about it and pretty much raw will make noise about it. And then you get you get all the, the ending. But anyway, moving right along. I mean, have maybe a rack of um, hard drives. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that you get four terabytes straight away like that. Man. I'm gonna tell you why. Because four terabytes hard drives eventually they they pretty much crash. They don't have a, a infinity lifespan. They crash eventually. It just break down eventually, you know. Um, so I would suggest if you go either four or one terabytes. So that if one crashes, then you still have three, and you still save those three. Um, and then you're gonna need you're gonna need external hard drives, um, maybe one terabyte each or whatever. And you're gonna put these hard drives into a RAM, not the external hard drives, just the regular hard drives into a RAM. Um, then you're gonna connect that server, and all these things are gonna be in the description below. You find where to buy it. And then you're gonna buy, uh, and then you're gonna put that. Ethernet into the first switch, and the first switch is going to be connected straight from the modem into that switch without going to the router. And then that's that that Ethernet, and please don't use anything less than Cat5 because if you're a tech person like I am and you really take passion in this, if you see someone with a big setup and they use a Cat5, go kill yourself. Anyway, ah, maybe not kill yourself, but really feel ashamed about it. Uh, from your modem into the switch, the switch is directly connected to your, your, your server. Why is that? Because routers, uh, don't put it on your router because your router sometimes goes down um, and loops and drops and etc. all the aliases. But it basically goes out every now and then uh, for updates and maybe just a glitch. All right, And you don't want your server to keep on going down like that. All right, You want it to be consistent. Uh, you want to be able to access it without your router. So connect it straight to your switch and then connect the switch straight to your, the first switch to your, route, to your router, right? And I use the Asus 2400, you're gonna need a router really good distance as well, all right? My router is $5 square feet. That's pretty much the size of a huge freaking house, right? With a really nice yacht. Um, then, we're gonna connect it to our router. Once it's connected to our router, uh, normally, most routers have about five ports, um, but I'll use this with now four ports. And then we're going to use one of those four ports that are available and send it to a next switch. And that next switch is going to allow us certain additional uh, Ethernet that we're going to, we're going to send into the ceiling. Alright? Now, this is where our electrician comes in. I'm not going to the ceiling, so we're going to send it into our ceiling. Alright? Uh, he's going to, or he or she, because I'm not going to be a sexist about it. Um, he or she is going to be uh, in the ceiling, so I'm going to put it in whatever room. So let's say I have a two bedroom apartment. Uh, I'm going to tell them to go to the ceiling, uh, take four wires from maybe the front of the room, uh, put it in the ceiling, uh, make it look really cool, you know, hide it somehow, and put two in each room. Right? Because you're still, you're, still, you're still going to have a wireless network because you have a wireless router, right? Um, but when it comes to live streaming and, and like gaming like I, I'm into, which I, we all know that like, you can boss when it comes to live, alright? So, once that is done, then you would want to um, connect. Once that is done, you want to connect whatever you want to do at the end of those. So that will give, give you two Ethernets in each room, plus the wireless, so 5,000 square feet along the whole apartment or whatever. And obviously, you would use more stuff if your place is bigger and you would need more, whatever. So then you would you would probably need uh, if you have a bigger place than that, you probably need uh, 
have a really good, really big place. Longo Y is, um, if you have a really good router, you wouldn't have to worry about that range. But if you have a shitty router, ah, I'm not supposed to curse. If you have a really bad router, right? Um, you're gonna need like extenders, right? Don't be like those guys who's like, oh, I'm gonna do these lagging, but you have a twenty dollar router. Nigga, your pocket is lagging, right? So let's start from the beginning. We're gonna have our racks, hard drives going into a uh, switch. Switch is gonna go into our router. Uh, our router is gonna go into another switch. That, that second switch, now I'm gonna have maybe about four wires, four more wires going into the ceiling. The electrician is gonna put um, those wires into divide them up and put them in each room. Um, then you're also gonna have your your wireless network, um, and then that's gonna allow you to connect to your your printers, and your, your printers, scanners, um, all these different things. So. I have a really boss internet um, network. I know that's going to be that one. Right. And you're going to really, really enjoy the time. You know, you're really going to enjoy the time. You know, not this time. You don't want to talk about that. Um, plus, I'm wearing this really nice cool shirt for you guys. First time I'm wearing it. You get in a lot of trouble for being naked. Maybe call me to get the camera, but. So that's why I like So that is my dream ever yeah, set up. Your server. My server would be just as far as I would have any servers to do any type of database or applications. Um, I mean, I'm sure you have like servers, right? That run applications just as like your servers and different variations. But I don't need all that. I just need somewhere where I can see it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this performance is going to be Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. All you guys that are in my class better subscribe. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe.